Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum. Welcome back to Ali Raja Bagan 2020 Part 14. I am your host Akib Ullah. I am Ali Raja. Asalaamu Alaikum. In this video, uh, we will be sharing with you what we have grown so far and what we intend to grow this year. So we will give you a full tour of our garden. It's the beginning of June and it's time to put all our vegetables into the ground. As always, we'll be answering some of your questions that you have raised in the comment section. So don't skip the video, watch the video till the end and please don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. Dad, what are we growing in this patch here? Okay, so okay, so we're gonna we're gonna actually uh, I don't know whether you can see them. Uh, uh, behind us we have this uh, uh, trellis, which uh, we have cucumber plant uh, and we have our love plant. So the love plant will climb up to the trellis, and the cucumber plants will go climb up to the uh, top of the bamboo sticks. So in this patch we intend to grow tomatoes in rows. So I did, uh, grow a row of tomatoes here and try to keep them around three feet tall so it doesn't affect the light be uh, 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 the plants behind me. So we want plenty of light going into the cucumber and the uh, hodo plant. So if we keep tomato plants at around three and three and a half foot tall, that should be fine. And in front of those, we're gonna grow eggplants, aubergines. We want all the shorter plants at the front. So the idea is shorter plants at the front and taller plants at, at the, the back. back. So we don't have any problem with the light and shadows. One of our subscribers has commented on our videos that most of her plants have died after planting them into the ground. I'm really sorry to hear that. I know how it feels, trust me. I think the main reason is the plants went through climate shock. You, might, you may have exposed them to extreme weather um, without hardening them off. I'm so sorry to hear that you lost your plant. Uh, I think, uh, like Akib explained, uh, they may have gone through a uh, climate shock. You may have exposed them too early without hardening of your plants. The best time to grow your vegetable in the ground would be, as well, the safest time, not the best time. The safest time would be end of May, beginning of June. And it all depends on uh, your location where you live. Now, we live in London. We are lucky that we get early early uh, weather, good weather, uh, compared to people living in the north, like Birmingham or Northampton or Scotland. So to be safe side, uh, end of May, beginning of June. Now always hard, harden off your plants uh, prior to planting them in the ground. About a week, two weeks before you are uh, planting them in the ground. Uh, keep them outside for a few hours in a, in a shade. Uh, choose a nice warm day and then take them back in in the evening. Next day bring them out again, expose them slowly on the sun um, and then you'll find your, your plants will get hardy. Let me show you what we use to protect our plants from harsh sunlight after we plant them into the ground. Using this plastic net we are protecting our young plants from harsh sunlight. These are our cucumber plants that we have planted two weeks ago. We have, protect, we have been protecting these cucumber plants by using the plastic net so the harsh light doesn't go onto the plant. And mashallah, they're coming out really nicely. I'm really pleased with these plants. We got other plants like banglalao, different types of plants. Now, let me show you a plant that we haven't protected and it's got sunburn. These are some of our other cucumber plants that um, this cucumber plant we haven't protected and look what's happening to the leaves. This is called sunburn when the leaves are turning white. But no need to panic. Eventually, just keep taking care of your plant and eventually it will be okay. Look what we have here. Our first ever cucumber. Oh, first cucumber. Look, yeah, look. from nice. this plant. Hopefully it tastes really nice. I love cucumbers.
this is us sissing the plant and we have um, sunburn on this plant and oh wow we got some sisinda on this plant come take a look look over here our sisindas are coming out really nicely there's a few more here down here Behind me, we have our trellis. Uh, we have all the tall plants behind me. Now, in this plot here, we're going to have slightly shorter plants. Uh, we intend to grow all our tomato plants in a row. Uh, and in front, we're going to actually plant our eggplants, aubergines. Now, we have made a video on how to grow tomatoes from A to Z. If you haven't seen that video, it's a must-watch video. Uh, I will leave the link in the description down below uh, on how to grow tomatoes from seed to planting them in the ground and how to take care of your tomato plants. And we've also discussed the type of fertilizer that we use uh, on tomato plants. So please go ahead and watch that video. It's going to be in the, uh, the links will be in the description down below. We have planted our tomatoes in a row and we have spaced them out two feet apart. We have, um, we have placed bamboo sticks on both sides of the plant so it can support the plant to climb up it. Eggplants are fantastic vegetable to have in your vegetable garden. Uh, we always have eggplant. Tomato plants, chili plants, cucumbers, bangalow. But eggplant, tomatoes and pepper plant, they come from the same family. So they, I normally feed them with the same type of fertilizer. In fact, uh, in my vegetable garden, I use three fertilizers. And uh, I have made a video on the type of fertilizer I use, when and how I use it, how often to use it. It's a must watch video. Um, I will leave the link in the description down below. So please go ahead and watch that. Whenever you're transplanting uh, um, aubergine or eggplant or tomato plant or, or cucumbers, uh, um, it could be bangalow, always dig a hole um, twice the size as your root ball of the plant. I can bring the camera here. So if you can see, this is the size of my root ball and look at the size of the hole I dug into the ground. So it needs to be at least double the size of your root ball. I always use a potting mix at the bottom. Again, if you haven't seen the video how I mix my potting mix, we we'll leave the link in the description down below. And I always use Epsom salt when I'm planting my vegetables. Add some calcium. After you transfer your plants into the ground, don't forget to give them a good drink. transferred your plant into the ground and gave it a good drink don't forget to add slug killer or if it rains today and the next morning your plant will be missing sprinkle it sprinkle the slug killer around the base of the plant In our last videos, uh, um, we've talked about uh, issues with fox in our garden. Uh, we have foxes coming in the night time and they tend to dig all our plants out. And we wanted to know if any of you have 
problem with fox in your garden now many of you came up with many different ideas uh, and um, one or two one or two were very interesting this lady um we couldn't stop laughing she said uh, why not use a fox trap and then send it to fox eaters now that's really true we're not going to do that another person came up with an idea that uh, we could soak a cloth into vinegar and leave it hanging near the plants and that might do the trick actually that's not a bad that, that's not a bad idea actually another person came up with another idea why not have chili uh, powder around your plant that might do the trick we actually use some of those we've already uh, we've been using chili powder around the plant for the last few years sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work but i'll definitely try out the vinegar and see if that works this is uh, this is uh, a few of the plants that we planted since since our last video this is uh, uh, called salcumbra or zali um, i think uh, uh, um, some people call it and if you can see this plant has has been dug up by the fox and we put it back into the ground let me see uh, we will see if that uh, uh, revives again um, you can see the marks left by the fox here so they tend to wander around in our garden every night time so I don't know we will try the vinegar and see if that works we've left chili powder but it doesn't seem to deter them uh, I think um, when you're using different stuff fox are quite clever they get used to they, they, they're quite clever they can, they can uh, get used to it very quickly so we will try using um, some vinegar tonight and see if that if that helps it's really annoying when you when you plant your uh, um, um, vegetables and then they get dug up by fox it's really annoying this is my cat Lali she's been with us for a very long time I think a few um, 12 or 11 years now no, she's older than you. She's uh, she, uh, you, you're eleven and a half. She's, she's tw twelve and 12, a half. Twelve years old. She's older than you. She likes sleeping. Uh, she's very cute. Lolly, she just woke up from a good night's sleep. Look at these babies. These these chilies are called Krishna chilies and we've got so many of them. I'm so glad that we overwintered these chili plants from last year. We got so many chilies, it's unbelievable. Look at all this. They're coming out really nicely, aren't they? Yeah. I'm really pleased with them. These are different types. Uh this is uh this is a different one. They're coming out really nicely. Nicely, I know. Would you like to see a chili challenge? Me against my dad. Oh my God, I'm so scared. But if you want us to do a chili challenge, you have to, um, you have to get at least a hundred comments on this video right now, what you're watching, and you have to ask us to do a chili challenge. But only if you get a hundred comments on this video and me and my dad will do a chili challenge every one green chili i have my dad has to have 10 that's so crazy oh that's not that's not fair <laughs> but it is dad you're the best at eating chilies okay so i have to eat 10 chilies and yeah. you have to have one chili yeah every one chili but that that's I... really unfair though but remember what happened um when we were making our homemade nagamoris my mouth was on fire Okay, so all right, we'll, we'll do that, provided we get 100 requests. So we need 100 requests in this video on the comment section if you want us to do a chili challenge. And uh, you will eat, if you eat one chili, I will match it with 10, ten. chilies. Yes. I'm going to eat five. You're gonna, your mouth's going to be on fire. First of all, we'll see if uh, our viewers would like to see that. So we want 100 messages yeah. on the comment section asking us to do a chili challenge. These babies are ready to go into a bigger pot. 
we have made a video on how to grow chilies from A to Z. If you haven't watched that video, it's a must watch video if you're growing chilies this year. Please don't forget to watch that video because it's very interesting and you don't want to miss any steps. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave the video link in the description down below. So please don't forget to check that out. Oh wow, look at our bungalow. It's starting to flower now. It's starting to flower. I'm looking forward to that lau within the next two weeks. Okay, look, we have a lau coming out. Wow, I can see that. You see that? Yeah, I do. Yes. I'm really pleased with this bangla lau that we have grown in the containers. Again, we have made so many different videos um, uh, on how to grow bangla lau in a container. If you haven't seen that video, Take Please a look don't at it. To check that out. You know, it's very interesting. Our other plants, uh, our other plants in the greenhouse looks very healthy. This is uh, uh, a herala plant. We've grown a lot of herala plants this year. These are some of our chili plants. And our self-watering plants are. I'm really healthy. pleased with the self-watering uh, chili plant. Mashallah, it's looking great. And we don't have to water these plants because I made us container that waters itself it's a lot of less work so these are self-watering chili planters that i made and they're doing really well if, again if you haven't seen that video go ahead check that video we'll leave it the link in the description down below wow look at our rose plants they look beautiful i hope you are sharing my videos as you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget I've got another channel called Akib's Fun TV. If you ever visit Akib's Fun TV, don't forget to subscribe. I make very interesting videos. Stay safe and Asalaamu As Alaikum. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Let us know if you enjoy watching our videos. Let us also know the type of videos that you would like us to make. I really hope you enjoy watching our videos. Don't give us, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos. And again, if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe. We do try to make videos every week and we have been posting videos every week. Stay safe, happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum and I'll see you in the next one.